All right, hi everybody, Mr. Pash here. And uh, for this video tutorial, we're gonna talk about um, mixing the secondary colors. And those are green, purple, and orange. The reason why we call those secondary colors is because we use the primary colors to mix them, okay? No other colors can mix each other and make the primaries. Primaries are primaries, they're number one, okay? They just stand out as pigments. But we can make other colors, all other colors, tints, tones, and shades, and combining, off the primaries, okay? Forgot to point that out on the first video here. So hopefully that makes sense now, okay? So if you guys went out and bought yourselves orange, green, and purple, I think I mentioned to some people, especially during online class, um, you guys can go get those. Um, this one, this tutorial will be a little bit easier for you, but I recommend trying to mix these together. Um, just so you guys know, also the dynamics of, you know, uh, color combinations as well as, you know, how much kind of paint the mix to get certain colors. Okay. So to get set up here, we got a nice clean palette. Just so you guys can see, here's my palette from previous video. Ran out of space really quick, okay? It's kind of the drawback with some of these. So if you guys are using paper plates, like here's another paper plate, guess what? Toss it. Don't even have to rinse it off anymore and just start off with a new one, okay? Make sure you guys are keeping yourself clean as well. Make sure you guys are working on a nice clean surface and open. I am not doing so because this is my video station. So I only have a little bit of space. So I'm not usually normally working in a space so tight like this, okay? Make sure you guys are also wearing um, clothes that you don't really care about and or a covering just in case, especially for you sloppy people out there. That's including me. Continue to watch your fingers or the sides of your hand as you're mixing too. Sometimes you dip it in and you'll get it on surfaces. Let's try not to let our parents get mad at us or me for that example. Hopefully I don't get any nasty emails saying uh, I led you to ruin some expensive piece of furniture or something. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, here's our kind of color wheel. This is like a previous assignment we did primaries, blue, um, red, and yellow. In between those, whoop, we got blue and red make purple, blue and yellow make green, yellow and red make orange. Okay, all elementary stuff. And in between these, we even have what we call tertiary colors. Weird word for this third stage there. That we'll get into for our final project, okay? Now, expanded from this, which we're learning this week, are the tints, tones, and shades, which we did from our first step here. And so you can see that each one of these color combos can have a tint, tone, and shade to change those aspects as well. And that's how we can really expand the color wheel here, okay? These are called hues, just pure color. That's what a hue is, okay? All right, so it's kind of going back here to our first page, okay? And feel free to use as many pages as you guys need. I'm trying to just kind of fit this all into one sheet here. This is a nine by 12, by the way. Okay, we got uh, our pure hues in the middle. We got our tints, sh uh, tones, and shades. And you guys will notice, I didn't, um, consistently talk about this in the video I only did in the time lapse but yellow is the only weird color when you mix in um, when you get the tones and shades it actually changes the whole dynamic of the color it actually turns it green not really gonna get that for the other colors but yellow is it's a weird one okay um, so I mean if you're looking for that color green hey that's how you get it yellow and black okay all right so I'm gonna continue the same thing here on the second page for secondary colors. And I'm gonna start, keep with the same design, kind of bigger circle, and then kind of 
branch out like a triangle, like circle here, circle here, circle here, a little bit kind of off to the side here. And you guys can copy this. If you guys want to try your own design, please do so. Maybe you come up with something that's a little bit cooler or it looks better. And if you guys want to do more steps of tints, tones, and shades, you are more than welcome to do so, okay? Because while you're there mixing color, it's quite easy just to mix in just a little bit more white to get like lighter shades of white. And then so you guys can really branch this off, but just three steps uh, for each is required for this assignment. Okay. And I'm not going to go over all of them. I'm just going to show you guys how to mix colors and then I'll do an example with and this is where I'd ask my class if you guys were here with me, what color should we do? I'm just, my mind went straight to green. I don't know why, but that's what we're doing here. Green. And feel free, I'm kind of going a little bit small here. Give yourself some space to work with. Now I'm going too big. Okay. I'm just kind of sketching these out, getting ready to plot in some color. Of course, you can always fix these, go a little bit bigger, smaller with the paint. This is just kind of a rough sketch here. Okay. Green, orange, purple. Let's mix some color. Okay. So from the first video uh, that we did, um, I think it's important to remember that darker colors or pigments will overpower the lighter one so let's talk about orange here red and yellow so when we're talking about mixing an orange our minds might tell us let's go 50 50 it's going to make the perfect orange when in reality it's that's not going to happen okay because the the red is darker it's more intense okay so i re recommend starting off with a good deal of the lighter color here okay and this is going to be the same thing when you guys are mixing green okay with the blue the blue is a lot darker um than the red okay naturally now we're not talking dark like it's black or just we'll just say more intense okay now, if we are mixing to get to orange and then to do the tints, tones, and shades, give yourself a good amount because you want to start off, you want to probably have this much, uh, probably a little bit, probably less is good, but okay. So this is a good amount of yellow. All right. By the way, water. Okay. Keep your water clean too as you guys go. Uh, mine's, you see the yellowish tint. It's already in there luckily i'm using yellow and red so it's not going to matter too much but keep that in mind you guys need to refresh your water at points because uh if you have colored water guess what it's going to change the color dynamics of your color mixing okay and um all right so sorry so i'm going to add just like what we did with the black and white it's like a dot of red and see where it takes us. Okay. And, um, you know, not all colors are the same. Not taking us too far. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to get some of this paint off. I'm going to kind of muddy up this paint just a little bit. Just run right on the edge here. I don't want to change the red cause I need it for other stuff. Okay. Let's add another kind of bigger dot here. See where we, where we get. I feel like I'm mixing uh, ketchup and mustard. <laughs> okay. Getting there. Okay. We get it. Well, there we go. Just two drops of red into all that yellow. It's kind of a lighter orange. Let's go one more dot here. Okay. So if you go too far. Okay. What happens if you go too far? Like you're like, uh oh, I just got to like red orange okay a lot of you guys are gonna 
go. Abort, abort, you know, mix more yellow in there, you know, and when you mix white into the, the light into the darker color, it takes a lot more, okay? So it's almost better just to kind of start over, okay? Because you're going to end up using a lot of paint. Is that a good orange? Mm, I would say so, okay? Hey, guess what? We're doing orange. And actually, I lied. One of the, the second colors that look weird with tones and shades is orange. But this will be fun because we're going to actually learn how to make a brown. Okay. I'm just going to tell you guys right now, because I haven't realized already, the best way to make a brown is black and orange. And some of you guys might have learned like, okay, we mix colors on the opposite sides of each other, like yellow and purple, you're gonna get like a brown. You're just gonna get like a muddy color. You're not gonna get like a true brown. Okay. I'm using a lot of paint here. Because some of you guys might have noticed like yellow, and I noticed this especially with the cheaper paints but not necessarily so, any paints. Yellow is very naturally translucent, so it actually takes a lot of paint to um, cover. And you guys will notice, too, is like the more you stroke, it's like you're not covering it, it's still showing up translucent. Um, you know, that's just because you're it's wet and you're just kind of brushing it away. <laughs> you're not actually covering it, so to really make it solid, you actually need to let it dry and do a couple coats when your, when your colors are translucent. Okay, we got our orange. Okay, looks pretty good. And uh, let's do our tense tones and shades. Sorry for the weird accent there. I don't know why I did that, but it just happened. Okay, it's a little bit of white, just definitely a little bit of black. Don't Need a whole lot of black for this, okay? And be careful, when you have these and you <laughs> squeeze down on it, watch out, because it splatters paint. It's just, I'm a messy artist, it's really bad. I got problems. Um, Let's see, okay, so let's do tints. Okay, so let's bring in some orange, just kind of right in the middle here. Okay, let's we'll do a little bit. See how far we get. Again, continue to like kind of clean out your brush just so it doesn't get too gloppy. And uh, let's start off with a good deal of white here. Okay. Again, clean out your brush, don't get too gloppy. I'm using my towel, I'm kind of spinning the brush, make sure you don't want it to be too wet because you don't want it too soupy. And uh, let's bring in just, okay, so now we got the orange, which is gonna overpower the white. So we just need kind of a dab of orange. Let's see where we get. Nice light orange, okay. And just think with these lighter tones, like if it's not white, it's gonna be a light orange, okay? And if you can kind of tell there's some orange in there, you're good to go. All right, so let's kind of start there. And again, too, usually when these dry, the acrylics, I guess it depends on the paints, but usually when they dry, they come out a little bit darker than they do, okay? Now I'm gonna take a little bit more orange. Let's mix that in for a step up. So again here, the process is start off with a good chunk of the lighter aspect of the color, in this case white, and start dropping in the color. Really mix that, and just a little bit more here, okay. 
All right, there we got definitely a light orange there. Okay, stay really staying on the lighter side on this. And then let's just bring in the rest, okay, for this creamy orange. We'll add that there. Okay. Notice how I'm getting a lot quicker <laughs> with brushing and kind of get into the flow here. Usually it's good if you got nice glob good glob of paint in your brush. Kind of just covers really quickly and makes some nice clean edges. All right, there's our tints. Let's get to the tones. All right, so tones are weird. It's a different definitely a different aspect here, so let's see if I can make this process just a little bit different from you guys. Oops. Okay. So, um, I don't want to mix too much, but just a dot, like the smallest of dots of black. Okay. See how much that changed right away. God, I can't tell you guys enough. Be careful with the black. Okay. And that looks good. And should we just do the other values here? Let's go for it. Let's just go one more dot of black there. Okay, we just gotta be careful. We want enough paint to mix. And let's do another dot of black here. Can I get maybe one more? Ooh, too dark. No, that's okay. Really dark gray. Okay, so there's our three values. Now, I really don't like to um, mix the color into the values because that's going to stay really gray. So I like to let's kind of pull some orange, uh, maybe off to the side here. I'm running out of room. Okay. And instead, I think for the lighter one, it'd be okay. So let's do that. Just kind of right off to the side. Okay. And just like slowly mix them in. Let's see where you get, okay. Kind of pull a little bit more in there. Okay, make sure you mix, spin that brush, mix it around pretty well. So there's a light gray, our tone. Make sure we got enough here, hopefully. Okay, so we still wanna keep that orange color aspect, right? We don't want that to go bye-bye. All right, starting to look like 70s colors. All right, and then we'll take some orange, like put it right over here and just mix in just a little bit. Remember, we're going darker, so we need a lot less. Just kind of more orange, kind of. We're not painting a whole lot, so we don't need a whole lot of paint. Kind of did that on purpose for you guys, because make it easier. Okay, all right. Probably kind of a little grayer there. Huh? I shouldn't do this, but okay. All right, and now, okay, this one. Now we need. We got that dark gray, we just need a lot less. So let's just kind of, just, uh, just a little bit here. Okay, well, not too much, really mix it. Okay, let's see where we get. And if we need more orange, we got some here. Just kind of make sure you clean off your brush before you dip in there. You don't want to remix the orange. All right. Can I give it one more overlap here? All right. Okay, so those are tones. You kind of see they're starting to turn a little brownish. Now we'll go for a tint. So now we're just gonna go straight black. 
And so um, you guys can go ahead, use the rest of the orange here. We already did the pure color. You guys can just probably use that reservoir you guys wanted. Okay, make sure your brush isn't too gloppy. As you guys are going through the process, remember, sorry, just tap and just kind of lightly scrape. Okay, and then towel, just kind of spin lightly. Don't, oh, I should have said this a long time ago. Don't do this, don't jab it, okay? Just kind of keep, you want your brush to stay like this. Okay, don't jab it in your bucket either. So what that's gonna do is bend your bristles and just like splay them out, okay? I mean, it's up to you at this point because it's your brushes. <laughs> but when we're in class, it's a different story. All right, so um, just dot, like little dot, little, little dot of black. I probably just did a little bit too much, okay? Just one little dot and see how far it goes. Okay, and that's cool. You barely saw a color change, but I like it. Um, it's not pure orange. It's just a shade of orange. Let's see what that looks like here. Still kind of really kept that orange aspect there. Okay actually looks lighter than the regular orange for some reason. Okay, let's go kind of heavier dot. Oof, greenish. Okay. I don't know if we'll get to that true brown. They got a lot of yellow aspects in this. Okay. Looks a lot like that over there. Not sure why. Okay. And then let's give it a nice heavy black here. Let's see where we get. Another dot. Oof, ew. Gross. That was like a muddy green. Well, this uh, this demonstration, I lied. We didn't get to brown. Not sure why. Hopefully, if some of you guys used, you know, bought some orange, maybe you guys have better luck there. Okay. Kind of goes to show you, you know, you mix one orange or you buy an orange, like the color dynamics, the type of paint it is, it's always going to be a slightly different. So that's why a lot of time artists use, <clears throat> you know, they get used to one brand of paint, some uh, traditional colors, they experiment with it and they know what they like and how it's going to mix, you know, they're kind of scientists in that way. All right, so there is uh, the first part of the secondary colors. Turned out all right. We kind of got this like 70s kind of type scheme going on. Now what you guys want to do is mix the green and kind of do the same thing. And then you want to mix for purple and do the same thing. And let's just end this video by mixing those. Let's go purple. And keep in mind when we go purple and we start off red, this is the lighter hue. Give yourself a pretty good amount here. Kind of glop that in. So we can get a nice decent purple. And then, you know what? I feel like I have some white in my brush. Maybe that's why that turned out green. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I definitely want to change out my water here uh, before I start mixing this because now I don't want any yellowish tones in here, okay? Because that means you're mixing all three of the colors together. You're going to get some muddy colors, so be careful of that. <clears throat> so I'm just going to really clean off my brush so there's 
Hopefully no yellow in there. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. A little clop. Okay. And let's just go a little bit of blue and see where we get. And so you're going to get, you know, reddish purple. Maybe at first. Okay. And keep in mind that's a tertiary color. Okay. We want right in the middle purple as much as you can get. Okay. You guys are, everybody perceives going to perceive color a little bit different. Okay. That looks okay. And then just so just as you're mixing, keep in mind, like, is that a red purple or is it a blue purple? And if it's like, you guys can't tell, if you can't tell yourself it's a red or a blue purple, maybe you're right in the middle. I think I just need a little bit more blue here. These colors are weird. I'm using these uh, apple barrel colors because I'm assuming most of you guys bought them. I haven't used them in a long time. <clears throat> That's okay. This is more like a, what I would call mauve. <clears throat> it's kind of like an off purple. And again, if you guys bought a traditional purple, guys can kind of skip the step if you wanted <clears throat> and at this time you guys are probably going to go I'm going back to the store <laughs> I'm buying purple and I'm buying orange and I'm buying green okay so that's decent <clears throat> something we can work with that's okay and then uh when we get to green okay so maybe I'll just kind of continue to use this yellow and just if you guys remember anything as far as mixing color, if you just remember the darker colors over power lighter colors, I guarantee you guys are ending, ending up winners here, okay? And you only need a little bit. And so just a dot of the blue. Let's see where we get. Okay, kind of a truer green there. That's working pretty well. You can tell that's more of a yellow green, tertiary color. A little bit more blue. Okay, we don't want to go too far. It's looking pretty good. I would say maybe just another, just a little dot. So, it's, you know, when working and mixing with the darker colors is better just to do a little bit at a time to get where you want rather than going too dark. You don't want to start mixing in those lighter colors to pull back. Ooh, too much, too much. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got weird color dynamics here with these colors. Okay, but that's something we can work with here. I think that's more of a medium green, I think. Make sure you guys really mix this stuff. I'm not getting there. Let's go a little bit more. One more and let's see where we get. And then just kind of call it a day. For this video, I'm sure we're running pretty long here. 30 minutes. Eesh. Okay, pretty good. It's not bad. And then from there, just tints, tones, and shades. Make sure you guys have enough space. Maybe use another plate. You guys can also, if you guys want... <clears throat> If you guys have enough sketchbook paper, uh, you guys can maybe mix some colors on that sketchbook paper, especially only if you guys use the mixed media stuff, <clears throat> the harder, stiffer paper, so it holds up. But you guys can use that if you guys need more space. All right, and that's it. Once you guys finish the green and purple, we are done for this assignment. You'll submit both of those images to Canvas. And if you guys got everything there, you guys get max points. And we'll go to the next step. All right. Take care, guys.